Hey everyone, welcome back. Ready to jump into another deep dive. Always up for a deep dive, especially into something as buzzworthy as harmony. Perfect, because I know our listeners are super curious about this one. Mm. Blockchain is the word on everyone's lips these days, right? Yeah. And harmony keeps popping up in conversations about where this tech is headed. Totally. And it's not just hype. They've been quietly building something really interesting over there. So let's cut through the noise. We're going straight to the source. Harmony's 2024 ecosystem report, fresh off the digital press. No better place to get the inside scoop. Exactly. So Harmony calls itself an open blockchain, pretty standard so far. But then they hit us with these words, data sharding, fast finality. Have you heard those terms before? Ringing any bells? Oh yeah, definitely. Actually, those are two of the things holding blockchain back from you know really taking off. Really? Okay, so break it down for us. Data sharding first, what's that all about? Imagine like, uh, you're at the grocery store, right? Long checkout line, everyone's waiting. Sharding is like splitting that one line into a bunch of mini lines that all move at the same time. Okay, so faster checkout, I like it. Yeah. But how does that work with blockchain? Well, with blockchain, those lines are actually chunks of data. Instead of processing everything in one massive chain, sharding lets Harmony handle transactions simultaneously, way faster. So it's all about speed. Exactly. And that's super important if we want blockchain to be practical for everyday use, not just, you know, theoretical tech stuff. Which brings us to fast finality. What's that about? Fast finality is like, think about when you swipe your credit card. Sometimes you have to wait for that little approved message, right? Fast finality is like getting that approval instantly. No waiting around, wondering if your transaction went through. Ah, so it eliminates that uncertainty. Yeah. I can see why that's a big deal. It's huge for user experience. And Harmony is making big promises on this front. Yeah, they're not afraid to aim high, are they? The report talks about wanting to boost blockchain use from like 1% to way more widespread adoption. Ambitious. But, you know, they're putting their money where their mouth is. They're on a hiring spree looking for top-notch engineers, the kind who eat, sleep, and breathe code. Sounds like they're gearing up for something big. It definitely gives off that building a plane while falling energy, which honestly is kind of exciting. I know, right? It's like controlled chaos. And in the fast-paced tech world, that's often where the magic happens. Totally agree. This isn't a company content with playing it safe. And every great company needs a strong team leading the charge. Speaking of which, the report mentions Stephen Say, Li Zhang, and Nita Neo as key players. Definitely names to watch in the blockchain space, for sure. Their expertise is really shaping Harmony's direction. But here's what I find really cool. They're not just about the tech. Harmony seems incredibly focused on community. They highlight validators, members, even listeners like you and me as being part of their journey. It's refreshing, isn't it? It feels like they're building something open and accessible, not some exclusive club. Totally. It's that kind of transparency and community focus that can really set Harmony apart. But we'll dive into that more after a quick break. Stay with us. It really is. And you know what else is cool? They're actually putting that community power into practice. How so? Tell me more. Well, they've got this whole system for making decisions like a, uh, I don't want to say a suggestion box, but it's kind of like that. Okay, I'm intrigued. What's the official term? They call them HIPs, Harmony Improvement Proposals. Okay, HIP. I like it. So anyone can make a suggestion. And what, the community votes on it? Exactly. And get this, they use a platform called Snapshot. So all the voting, everything's totally out in the open. That's wild. So it's like real deal democracy in action. Pretty much. And it's not just for show. They've got something like 25 community DAOs. Think yep. of them as like dedicated teams all focused on different parts of Harmony. So you've got your dev teams, your marketing gurus, the whole shebang. Nah. Yep. All contributing, making decisions. It's a really active community. Wow, that's impressive. But, you know, it's one thing to have a cool community and big ideas. It's another to actually, you know, get stuff done. True that. So let's look at the receipts. The report lays out Harmony's timeline, all their milestones, and man, they haven't been slacking off. Not even close. They hit the ground running with their mainnet launch back in 2019. I mean, they haven't slowed down since. Okay, so walk us through it. Mainnet in 2019, then what? They jumped right into staking, then dove headfirst into the whole world of DeFi and NFTs. And hold on, there's more. Now they're experimenting with DAOs, even messing around with the super cool but kind of complex tech called zero-knowledge proofs. Whoa, 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 slow down. Zero-knowledge proofs. That sounds intense. I know, right? It's all about privacy and security. Really fascinating stuff, but maybe a deep dive for another day. Agreed. But the point is, 
they've been busy bees. No doubt about it. Which makes me even more curious about the numbers. You know those juicy stats that tell us if Harmony's actually gaining traction? Oh yeah, they definitely dropped some impressive figures in this report. Like what? Give me the highlights. Okay, get this. 8.05 million addresses, a whopping 802 million transactions, and hold on to your hats, billions, with a B of dollars in stake tokens. Wowza. Okay, that's not just window shopping. Those are some serious commitment numbers. Exactly. This isn't just a bunch of curious onlookers. People are all in on Harmony. Okay, that's super interesting, but I know it's not just about the raw numbers, right? Yeah. There's gotta be more to the story. You're right, we've gotta dig a little deeper, look at the bigger picture. Exactly. But before we get into all that, let's take a closer look at what's actually being built on Harmony. I mean, they dedicated a whole section to showcasing their ecosystem, and it's pretty mind-blowing. It really is. I mean, games, AI, finance, they've got it all going on. Seriously, it's like they're trying to cover all the bases. And speaking of covering bases, yeah. let's talk practicalities for a sec. If someone's listening to this thinking, okay, Harmony sounds cool and all, but how do I actually keep tabs on it, see if it's as good as it sounds, what should they be looking at? Good question. The report actually points to a couple of really useful resources for that. DeFi Llama. For start. Oh, Phi Lama. Okay, I've heard that one thrown around. Yeah. What can you track on there? A lots of stuff. But a good starting point is Total Value Locked, or TVL for short. It basically shows you how much money is flowing through Harmony's DeFi apps. Bigger the TVL, more people are using it, right? Makes now. sense. So big TVL, good sign. What else? Trading volume, another key metric, shows you how active things are on their decentralized exchanges. And of course, user growth is always a good one to keep an eye on. So it's like checking the vital signs, making sure the ecosystem's healthy. Exactly. But even with healthy vital signs, there are always potential hiccups, right? Risks, challenges, that kind of thing. Does the report address any of that? Oh yeah, they definitely don't shy away from the challenges. I mean, one thing to keep in mind is even if DeFi Llama is showing good numbers for Harmony, you got to compare those to its competitors. Ah, uh, right. Context is key. Exactly. Is Harmony grabbing a big slice of the DeFi pie, or are other platforms racing ahead? That's a big question, and unfortunately, the report doesn't really get into those comparisons. Yeah, you got to do your own homework, due diligence and all that. Always. But hey, that's part of the fun, right? True that. Uncovering the insights for yourself. Well, this deep dive has been a wild ride. We've explored so much about Harmony, their tech, their community, their vision. It's been fascinating. I'm exhausted in the best way possible. Me too. But before we sign off, I want to leave our listeners with one final thought to chew on. Ooh, I like where this is going. Hit us with it. The report mentions Harmony's push into two really exciting areas, social games and community AI. Now, those are two worlds colliding in a good way, I'd say. Right, so here's my question for everyone listening. What do you think a future where social gaming meets AI all powered by Harmony, what could that look like? Ooh, good one. The uh, possibilities are endless. Right. And while we don't have time to unpack that fully today, it's definitely something to spark those brain cells. Be sure to check out Harmony's 2024 ecosystem report for yourselves. We'll drop the link in the show notes. And while you're at it, let us know your thoughts on social media too. Until next time, happy exploring.